Hi everybody, K5VLP, making a second video on the Wires X system, how to access a Wires X node and, con and contact people throughout the world. Uh, the first video was on how to set up your node, basic settings, and the software. For those of you who do not have a node, today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, your HT to connect to a Wires X node in your area so that you can get on Wires X and talk to people all over the world with your 5 watt HT. Now it doesn't have to be an HT, it can be another radio, but I have an HT to show. And I'm not highly technical, I don't know everything, so hopefully this video will be basic enough for everybody to understand. For those of you who know more, don't criticize me, but you can definitely leave comments or suggestions, or if you have any questions, feel free to post them. If I can answer them, I'll answer them, I'll look them up if I need to, and if I can need to make another video, I'll make another video. But I'm trying to make this easy for people, so hopefully you enjoy it and it helps some of you uh, get on Wires X. So let's go over here to the node. My node is the computer with the WiresX software, my Yesu 400, and the WiresX box. It's a little bit dark, but I've got the laptop light going. So uh, this radio that's connected to the box and the internet is considered the node, and it is a room with a number. Anyone can connect to this node slash room with the node name or number of the room, okay? And that's just through DTMF tones, and I can go through that on another video. This radio is unusable, so for those of you connected to somebody's node, they can't use the radio that, that they've got connected. So they may or may not be able to talk to you. If they're connected with another radio, they'll be in that node and be able to talk to you. And that's what I'm gonna show you today, and this is how most people with nodes connect. You've got to use another radio. So, FT1, or if you have the FT2, turn it on. Okay? Now you've got to find a local RF frequency that is connected to the Wires X system. Go, uh, I'll put a link at the bottom, but go Google it. Wires X Active Nodes, and it should be the first one that pops up. It's a yesu.com. Uh, link. It lists all nodes that are currently active and on the system. Some nodes will be empty. It doesn't mean there are people in each one of those rooms or nodes, but they are active and you can connect to them. Go to that link. At the top, you can click on city. It'll organize it alphabetically in city format, or in city alphabetically, city list. Find a, a local one, and that'll give you the information you need. So if I were to do that, and looking in a little elm, I'm going to find my node... K5VOP-ND, and it's going to be on there a frequency of 146.550, which is Yesu's default frequency. And I double-checked our local frequencies. That's actually in between two of our local ice plan frequencies in our county. So I've kept it at that. It's digital. Simplex. I put that information in to connect to that node that's in my city. I hold the DX button down. That tone tells you you're connected to the wires X node. The X stops flashing also. If that X keeps flashing, you're not reaching the node. You may hear people on that frequency, but your radio may not have enough power to hit the, ra hit the node and come back with wires X connection. So, I'm now connected to wires X node. And it's flashing America Link because that's what it was, the node was connected to last, but it's not connected to anything right now. So now I'm connected to somebody else's node. Remember, somebody else's radio and Xbox, or wires Xbox. So good amateur practice, just like a repeater, you would want to transmit, make sure nobody's using it, or perhaps even contact the owner of the node prior to and, and see that it's okay for you to connect to other rooms through their node. So since this is my node, I'm going to give myself permission, and let's go ahead and figure out how to connect to a room. And when I connect, I want you to watch up here as well. This is the software for the node. It's currently not connected. It says right here, disconnected, so I did disconnect. Here's all my favorite rooms, user names, or user IDs who are currently connected, and room IDs that are connected. And a lot of these are going to be duplicates. Like for me, I'm both a user and a room ID. So you're going to see K5BOP-Paul here 
and K5VOP dash in November D delta down here for my node. So let's hold the enter button down. How to connect to a room. It's going to give you this menu. If you don't have presets in here, if you haven't put in room numbers or names, it's not going to have anything. So let's go. I always do that. Let's go down to all or search and direct. If you know the node number, room number, or name, you can search for it and find it here. If you're just trying to find a room that has people in it, go to all, hit enter, it pings the, it pings the node and comes back with information listing all the current rooms slash nodes that have people in it. There's Japan, there's America Link, there's this room, that room, and there's an Let's see, Italy, Kyushu, all over, worldwide, wires. So let's go to America Link. That's run by K5YSQ up in Paris, Texas. That's the one that I pretty much sit on all day long, and it's fairly active, between 17 and 40 people a day, and they're very helpful and very friendly. I've talked to people in England, I've talked to people in Japan, Scotland, Canada, and a few of the states. So I'm going to choose that. America Link, 33 people currently in it, and I'm going to hit enter. Do you see how that all changed? You get the tone, and there's some guys talking on it. That's Stu in, okay, in I'm England. Morning, uh, I'm going to have to carry on and do a little bit more, and uh, I'm just straightening up his computer a little bit more, and, and then I'm going to go down and join the wife. Uh, not that there's much of television any so it'll be just probably looking at uh, a little hard to understand but he's got that British accent sort of and that. Well, we'll be to you outside the river on it nice work you get uh, up there in I think it's not it's not the assault that he has in it so uh, I'll see you up anyway Ron from GZOG you well now let's see if the other guy talks here he is M3RNO is talking with uh, Stu in England. I'm going to go ahead and volume this down so that you can hear me. Okay, we're connected now to the node. Uh, on your on on this, it's going to say up here America Link. How many people? On the node, it's going to show all the people here. It's going to show who's currently talking or the last person that talked. You can even text, chat, post links in here if you're at the node. But that's what the person at the node sees when someone connects to their room. But now you can connect, you can talk to anybody in that room, okay? And that's the same with any other room. If you want to leave that room, you go back to... i got to go to back. It's always fine. There, back. Hold down the enter button again. Oop. Hold it down. Scroll down to the all or search. Search again. I think because someone's talking, I can't search. That way you can't cut anybody off because it does transmit to get the data. So I can't do it right now. Uh, Stu's talking. So let's just go back. Now this is a cool thing. If you're running the GPS and they're running GPS, you're going to see the mileage here, how far away they are. I don't have GPS on my HT right now, so it doesn't show. But Stu, when I was on before, showed over 4,900 miles. It's kind of cool to see where how, how far people are. That's the basic connection. That's how you connect with your HT to someone's node. Um, oh, I've got to go to back again. I always mess that up. Finding back for some reason is difficult. Okay, so there it is. That's how you connect them on the node. Again, remember, a person's node is a person's node. Good amateur practice. Check to make sure it's okay to use that node to go into other rooms. If you call and no one replies, I would consider it okay to go into another room. But if you want to feel better about it, contact that node user beforehand and check with them to make sure it's okay to use their node to connect to other rooms. But that's the gist. That's how it works. Um, if there's any questions or comments, post them at the bottom. If I can't look it up and find the answer, uh, we'll figure it out somehow. I just wanted to post this basic information to show people without a node how to connect to WiresX and talk to people all over the world. we got Canada, Japan, Great Britain, Texas, 
Um, here's more Canada. 